Okay guys, and welcome to uh, a new series that I'm doing for the Bleed Pop Podcast. It's going to be called NHL Tips. And this week I'm going to talk about GM mode. And as most of you know, I'm a big hockey fan. And yes, unfortunately, I'm a big fan of the Islanders. So I'm going to talk about how I changed the Islanders uh, mock-up, really. I've got rid of a few key players and brought in a couple of special players that I enjoy. But really, throughout this series, I'm going to talk about be a pro, GM modes, and what players you should pick up, and possibly some interesting prospects that you should look up on NHL 12. So, yeah, I'm just... um, Currently finishing off uh, the Islanders, I'm in the playoffs at the moment. So this is some footage I um, did earlier today. Okay, let's start off with looking at my roster. So let's just quickly find it. Here we go. No, I think it's in coaching options. Yep, there it is. No, no it's not. There it is. It's in (laughs) GM mode. Man, still, this game's menus confuse me. Okay, so we have Josh Bailey, obviously a young guy. And then I got Johnny Boychuk. Now, Johnny Boychuk was a really nice trade. Um, At the trade deadline, Boston approached me with a trade for him, and I had to give up Nabokov. Well, not Nabokov. And a third-round draft pick for him. But, yeah, he's got a hell of a shot, and he's fantastic. And he just gives that line a little bit of grit, which I need. Okay, yeah, uh, the next um, uh, trade I did was with for Kyle... Uh, Brosiak, yeah, this guy plays for the Minnesota Wild. I like him, how the Wild play. He's a rough, rough guy. Uh, and I did a trade for him. I got rid of Trent Hunter uh, for him. But yeah, just look at that spin around move. It's such a great, great player, I think, personally, on on the game and off the guys. But yeah, uh, also, um, not a player that I got, but a player that everyone needs to look at. Michael Grabner. This guy is so good, aka the Gremlin. Look at that shot, right in the top corner. And look at this beautiful deke. Oof. He is so quick. Fastest skater in the NHL, and he's got a nice pair of hands as well. Okay, going through the team, yeah, I've got Travis Hamanick, Jesse Uensu. I kept him in the squad, but I might get rid of him. But yeah, the trade that I absolutely loved. Eric Carlson. Now, when I picked up Eric Carlson, he was um, injured, and I traded him for my injured player, Carla Poso, uh, from the Ottawa Senators. But this guy is just everything I want in a defender. He's quick, he's amazing, he's fast, and yet he's got a heck of a shot on him. And, it, you know, just in his early 20s, he's going to do a lot of good mileage with me this season on an HL12. Right, going through all the usual suspects, keep on going down. Yeah, a bit of PA Paranto. Now, yes, uh, Wayne Simmons. Now, this guy I really like on and off the ice. I loved him when he was in LA, and when he moved to Philly, I thought it was a perfect fit. So I thought, why not? Let's add him to the Islanders. So I traded him for Blake Como. And this guy's just brilliant. He just seems to battle down low on the net and just get free. Look at this little replay here. He just seems to find enough space to get a quick shaft. And that's what I need on my first or second line. And he's really quick. So, yeah, on the two-on-ones or breakaways, he's just got so much pace. You can't keep up with him. But the one thing I like about Wayne as well, he's a tough guy. Yeah. He just adds a level of grit. But the problem is with uh, Wayne, he takes a lot of penalties. So, yeah, here he's just taking, I think it's a boarding call I had. Yeah, boarding call. But other than that, he's a great player. So, yeah, I've got Mark Streisdale, John Tavares, never getting rid of him. He's a future of our franchise. And David Allstrom. Yeah, I promoted him uh, to give him a quick run out. But, yeah, um, as you know, I, I'm a big Islanders fan, so I know really uh, what prospects we've got coming up as well. So we've got Calvin Dehan that's in the college. We've got um, Nino Nino Ryder and also uh, Ryan Strom that are kicking around in college. So yeah, I know in a couple of years or like a couple of seasons those guys will make my lineup. So I don't want to trade away two, uh, trade them away period actually. So yeah, we're going to keep keep them just in case. But let's go through the lines. This is a, a quick mock up at the moment. So yeah, obviously my top line, I've got Matt Molson, Tavares and Parento. And then I've got Carl Brogiak, uh, Franz Nielsen and Grabner. Uh, Jesse Uensu, um, Bailey and Wayne Simmons. Now I've currently changed this line. I've uh, put PA down here, as in PA Parento, uh, and put Wayne Simmons on the top line. He seems to be doing way better. And on the, the fourth line, which I like to call the rookie line, I've got um, uh, Reisner on there with David Allstrom 
and Matt Martin, but that will easily change to Ryan Strom or anyone else that I need. Okay, so this will move me on to my defense line. Obviously, you know, Eric Carlson and Mark Strike, they're my big ones because they're amazing. And then obviously Travis Hamannick, a young guy who's gone through our draft system, uh, and Johnny Boychuk, and Mark Eaton, and Milan Yucic to finish off my defense. Okay, so let's get straight into the tips. Okay, my first tip is pretty simple really, it's trade wisely. If you wanting to get rid of a star player and bring in a few youngsters, or even probably a star player for a star player, make sure you're not getting ripped off. And always think in the back of your mind, is this really worth it long term? Second, and possibly the most key uh, essential I think for any team, is draft young. And get players that are young. I can tell you now from my experience, I um, from what I've been playing, Trust me, youth is phenomenal compared to old. Even though old is a quick fix on long term, it doesn't really help. And then the third and final thing is the salary cap. Obviously, if you get, you know, the Shea Webbers or the Nicholas Lidstroms of the league, that's like seven to six million a season. And you can probably find someone, maybe not as good as those guys, but as good, if you know what I mean. It might not be, you know, 90 or 87, but it has a slap shot that's ridiculous to stop. And that's it guys, that's the first video in the bank. I hope you guys enjoyed this NHL tip, I know I enjoyed making it. And just keep an eye out really for more videos to come. Okay, the next video is going to be called Quick Fixes. And basically um, I'm going to pick a player that I think is amazing in real life and also on the game. Uh, and really if you draft or get him, your team could easily be changed around. And the first player I'm going to pick is Thomas Vanek from uh, the Buffalo Sabres. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and yeah, please subscribe and leave comments below.